You've got to love this time of year because the real estate predictions keep coming in fast and furious. Welcome, welcome again to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show. We try to make sense of this crazy Arizona market. Do me a favor and hit that like button. And you know why people tell you to hit the like button. So YouTube can put my material in front of other people whether they like it or not. So prediction season. Um, if you only saw how many tabs I have open on my computer. I, I had one comment once said, you need another news source. <laughs> if you saw how many news sources I had, you'd, it'd make your hair hurt. Um, so one headline that I came across was on the Drudge Report, and the title says, Collapse in Home Prices is Coming, Experts Say. So I always talk about how there's devil in the details, right? And you got to go back in and you look. And I think this article that's on here says, says it all. And uh, as you go through and you read it, they're talking about the S&P CoreLogic Case Schiller 20 city home price index that they show here and they go on and say that um, right here the big picture existing home sales have fallen for nine straight months the supply of single-family homes is growing not this month and with mortgage rates near seven percent experts say a large-scale housing slowdown is becoming increasingly likely well when you go down and you start reading the numbers, they're saying estimates that existing home prices will keep falling, ultimately dropping about 20% from their June peak of around 414000 Now, on the live show that I did with Pat on Friday, we did have a subscriber that says, I'm waiting for prices to come down about 20%. And my question was, 20% from where? From last year? From today? Or from the peak? Because we're already down... Right here, if you look in Arizona, we're already down about 11%. So even in the bleakest of prognosticators out there saying we're going to drop 20%, well, we're halfway there. So that is not happening. But what's interesting about this article, or that is happening, you know, we're getting to 20% down. Forgive me. But then it says Goldman Sachs analysts also recently cut their outlook for home prices from roughly flat next year to down 4% noting that unsustainable levels of housing affordability continue weighing on housing demand. That is true. Houses are still very unaffordable. Until recently, economists had poo-pooed the prospect of a nationwide price slump. I don't know where that, uh, that thought came from. Suggesting that persistently low inventories of houses to buy would put sort of a floor on the market. We're seeing a little bit of a floor on the market right now in that people have such low interest rates that they're staying put. Uh, it's called a frozen market. and But it's interesting after all of, of what they said in here, and this is a very short article. They're saying here, while analysts are coming around to the idea that house prices could see a correction, they still don't see an outright bust. And I'm not seeing that yet either. Unemployment remains low, and most homeowners who bought their homes in recent years have locked in rock bottom rates, making their payments affordable. We keep saying that over and over again. That means a surge of defaults, like the one that crashed the U.S. Marking, housing market in 8 and 9, is unlikely. So the bottom line, some decline in home prices is in the offering, in the offing. It won't be a disaster. and Lower prices will be welcomed by the frust frustrated would-be buyers. I could not agree more. I'm okay if prices continue to start sliding down. I just don't know where they're going to go. And it's amazing that when I look on my seven-day moving average here, um, I said that I thought we'd be down to about 1,900 contracts um, over the Thanksgiving weekend and we dipped down to 1800 so i was off by 100 so but everything else went down listings as well looks very alarming on the chart looks like sales have stopped nobody's listing their home they'll be back this week the end of this week after thursday when we start getting the weekend numbers it's going to spring right back up to where we were which is about 33,000 homes coming on the market 2200 of them going under contract Say so you have a gap of 800. What I am noticing is when you get a gap of 1500 between the contracts and the new listings, that's when prices start to come down yet again. 
slowly. But right now, as it's hanging around 800, you're just not going to see prices coming down. But also, going through the multiple listing service, I'm seeing more and more uh, comments in there that say, seller is willing to offer X amount of dollars for a rate buy down. So while they're not lowering their prices, they are offering a lot of concessions to help you with your payment. So now that can vary what kind of rate buy down can you get you just have to meet with your lender and go hey this guy's kicking in 10k what would that mean for a loan for me and you have to weigh that with the price of the house because now you got to go do i want to offer them twenty thousand dollars less than their asking price or do i want to go ahead and take the ten thousand that they're offering or do you think i can get both well you probably can't get both you can try but I would start first by saying, what do I get if I go down $20,000 off list? What's my payment? What if I pay them their asking price and I accept that $10,000 to buy the rate down? What's my payment? Because it's all about the payment, right? For now. So compare those apples to apples so you can make a very solid decision. Mentally, many buyers, I think, are too focused on, on how far down they can pull them off a list than really taking the time to look at some of the buy downs and closing cost concessions that sellers are offering. So don't be so fast to pull the trigger on price. Make sure you're looking at all the different options that you have when buying a house because some of them out there now are starting to get pretty sweet. So we need to watch this very carefully. And as we get into prediction season, we're going to see um, more and more people saying that real estate is going to go up, interest rates are going to go down. So far, when I look at interest rates going down in the first quarter, there was no way that I thought that was going to happen. It just didn't look like it. All depends on the inflation data that's coming out. And Barry Habib has said that we could be in the fives uh, going into the first quarter. And I have bet Pat a dollar that we won't see that. And uh, I'm, I'm hanging on to my dollar and getting ready to give it to Pat because we might. But there's too many moving parts in that, so I'm not going to stick my neck out. I am betting them the dollar. That's as far as I'm going. Sometimes I only bet a dime just for sport. But for this one, I have a dollar on the table that says we're not going to see interest rates in the fives in the first quarter of 2023. Um, but I'm happy to pay Pat the dollar if that happens. So stay tuned here. I will keep you on top, on top of the prognosticators. Take on the day and have a great week. Don't forget to subscribe.